Where on earth did that come from? You've got to love that. A wee surprise to wake you up in the morning. It's got me up bright eye, bushy tailed. Celtic have made a signing. Well, looks as though they're about to make a signing, subject to international clearance and all that good stuff. It's exciting times. Let's get into this edition of uh, Celtic Transfer Talk. A very impromptu version of Celtic Transfer Talk. It has been a busy day for me and for the rest of the guys that have been working alongside me at the Celtic the Thunder podcast. I had the chance this morning to sit down and talk to Tommy McIntyre, the Celtic B team manager. Later on, we'll be speaking to Celtic's new signing, Liel Abada. That'll be up on the channel later on. Also, if you want to go and see the stuff with Tommy and anything else, follow the podcast Twitter account at Celtic Podcast and you can see everything there. And most importantly, do one more thing. It's been flagging recently. If you haven't already, make sure to hit like and subscribe down below the video. It's those buttons that get us all these opportunities. So please, if you could, make sure to hit them absolutely free. And let's talk about this new signing. So I woke up at 9 o'clock this morning in preparation to go and speak to Tommy and all I seen on Twitter was first notification Celtic Football Club are delighted to announce that has reached the agreement to sign Japanese internationalist Kayugo Furuhashi from J1 league side Visel Kobe subject to international clearances and the usual conditions. I was not expecting that. I don't think any of us were expecting that. The rumours weren't even there before I went to bed last night. Went out for a few pints, went to bed expecting maybe to wake up today and hopefully see the signing of the likes of Carl Starfelt. During the night, obviously, things have happened and Celtic have came to making the signing of, of Mr. Let me get it right again, Furuhashi, um, which I'm, I'm really excited about. Um, someone who, once again, I'll be brutally honest in saying I never heard of before this morning, um, but someone who, in further reading and, and looking into a little bit more, looks to be a talent um, and looks to be someone who'll be very exciting for the Celtic supporters this season. Signing from Vissel Kobe, the guy is currently top scorer in the J League, but we'll come to that in a moment. You know, the first impression that a lot of people give off, and it's the same impression that people had with Ange Postacoglu, is the guy is coming from Japan. Um, I don't think, and as Ange Postacoglu has already stressed so much this season, we shouldn't be so um, arrogant towards it, we shouldn't be so ignorant towards it, and... I think that'll be mostly from opposition supporters than Celtic supporters because we welcome him in and we want him to succeed, of course. But there's certainly a guy here that knows how to play football. And, and let's think about the great Japanese players of the past, you know, especially at Celtic, Shinsuke Nakamura. Is this our new Nakamura? Um, Shiji Kagawa, Kinsuke Honda, a lot of great players have came over from um, Japan. So I'm hoping that this guy can fit into that mould and, and be one of those players. He's someone who's going to excite the fans, definitely. Um, from the clips and the, the, the talk that I've seen of him and the bit of research I've managed to fit in this morning, he's going to be an, ex uh, an exciting player. He's got to be someone who really grabs the fans' attention. Playing anywhere on that, that line of three at the front, the left, right wing or up front, someone who scores goals, makes goals, and do you know what, as more of I think about it, could bring that flair factor that we once had with, as Ian Crocker would say, the man from Japan, Shinsuke Nakamura. Currently plays alongside Andreas Iniesta, uh, in case you did not know that, the, 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 of course the Spanish legend, the Barcelona legend, the World Cup winner who moved to Vissel Kobe a few years ago, plays alongside him, Ange Postecoglou will know him very well um, from playing in that J-League, but so far this season, 20 league games played, 14 goals, 15 goals in all competitions if you take in the Emperor's Cup, that is a magnificent record, and this is a league that has a quality of player, you know, it's, there are no mugs, uh, uh, there's a lot of teams in there who would probably give a lot of Scottish teams a run for the money, if not better than a lot of the Scottish teams, uh, and Vissel Kobe have been one of those teams over the past few years, with the likes of Iniesta, who have been a, a good side and a tough side, um, and, and Ange Postecoglou knows that first hand, but that record is brilliant, and you just look a little bit further into it, you do a little more, bit more reading, 181 professional appearances, I believe, 65 goals, 36 assists, and 181 appearances playing in the left wing, right wing, up front. That is a magnificent record. That goal contribution rate is obscene. Um, he has contributed to so much um, for the two sides he's played for over in Japan, uh, and we're hoping, of course, he brings that to Celtic. Um, now, where he'll play for Celtic, we'll come on to for a minute, but the, the pedigree of player we're signing here, of course, is one that we, is a bit unknown. There is that, as we said with Ange Postecoglou, that unknown known quantity that, that does add a bit of excitement, but I think there's no arguing right now that we're signing a player who does know how to play football, knows how to score goals, and knows how to make goals, and, and, and that's something that we need, um, with the likes of Edouard maybe leaving, you know, bringing in somebody who can replace goals and, and, and make more. 
that's that's a big positive for us. It does look as though he's good at carrying the ball too, safe with the ball at his feet, good with possession, um, and, and that's something else that we like. You know, we like we, we like a winger that can carry that ball and keep the ball. And hopefully, as as I said with the the last video when we talked about signing wingers and we were talking about Liela Bada, hopefully it's someone who is willing to take on the players, willing to try and beat some um, some defenders. And, and just give us that excitement that I feel like we have missed, especially over the last 12 months on the wings. We haven't had players who have been that exciting and they've been a little bit uh, scared with the ball. Um, since Sc Scott Sinclair really popped off and James Forrest popped off those two years in a row, um, or those two, three years, the last couple haven't been as great for it. And I'm hoping that this is someone who can bring a bit of freshness and a bit of excitement down that side, the left-hand side, like a bad I might do on the right-hand right, right -hand side. It's a very interesting dynamic we've got now because it is two players who we really know nothing about, in, in all seriousness, um, and are going to be coming into the squad to, to hopefully improve us tenfold. But we'll wait and see how that pans out. So the main positive is that exactly that he can play along that that front three he can play anywhere and i think primarily what we should expect is a player who's going to be starting on that left wing for us if he's comfortable to do it i imagine he will be deployed to do it uh, mikey johnson went down with another injury against um, bristol city the other day which i've not heard much about yet don't know how serious it is or how long he'll be out for hopefully it's not a long time but mikey johnson has struggled with that so for, uh, so much in his career getting these knocks every few weeks and keeping them out of the side and and really we can't afford that much longer we, we need um we need to have players who are going to be playing and fit all the time and you know we've not got depth in that left wing you take away mikey johnson with no other left wingers el you is now gone we need to we need somebody who's going to come in and bring first team quality on that left hand side um and this could be the guy for that other the other thing that you can also think of is if Edward leaves the club if that manages to happen this summer you could be looking at someone who has a striking option to replace Odson Edward if not that it could be the shadow to to Albion Ayeti who I think will be the starting striker for Celtic this season I think Ange will place his faith in in Mr Ayeti but more more realistically he will be on that left hand side I think he will be our new left winger um, there hasn't been much talk of another left winger uh, unless there's another signing they're ready to pull out of thin air that we've not heard about um, then this is the guy who on a four year deal at 26 years old I've not even spoken about that, 26 in his prime in a four year deal I think we're settling on a new left winger for the next few years and I'm quite happy with it for now but most importantly and the biggest part about this is it is a completely out there Ange Postecoglou signing it's an Ange Post it's not something that Ange is going to be disgruntled about it's not going to be something that in a few years time we're going to be backing the manager this is an Ange Postecoglou signing he knows him well he's played and scored against Yokohama if Marinos in the, the J League um, he knows everything about him probably he's seen him so many times this is if Ange Postecoglou wasn't our manager he wouldn't be signing for us let's be let's be frank about it let's be bluntly and completely honest he wouldn't be signing for Celtic if, if Ange Postecoglou wasn't our manager I like that this is his signing this is his player we are backing the manager to bring in his um his players his his players and his ideas that's what's important about this and that's what I like and I hope we continue to do that it's all very well and good um, getting players that are, are, of course, household names and players that we can maybe trust to come into the side. But without a director of football there doing that, a director of football who's going to be there for the next few years, we shouldn't be passing that job off to anybody else bar the manager right now. Um, and I'm happy to see that this is completely an Ange Postecoglou signing. Um, and I think he'll be buzzing with it as well. Keeps him happy, keeps us happy seeing a signing. And... Um, Hopefully, is and hopefully, I don't want to jinx anything. He's someone who brings great quality to the squad because looking at everything I've seen so far, from the stats to the, the the videos and everything else, I'm excited about this one. And I can't help but get excited about every signing that we make um, to an extent because we've been starved of excitement for the last year. So we could literally go out and re-sign Shane Duffy. I'm joking, but I'm just excited by anybody at the moment and. Um, for the right reasons in this guy, everything looks to be a positive, there's no real negatives with this signing, I believe it's quite a cheap fee as well, I'm not sure what the exact fee is, um, I think there's, there's, there's question marks around that, according to the transfer market it's 1.8 million, don't take that as gospel, not sure if that's right, but look, Big Ange has got his man, we're ready to go, and it's the first of two uploads today, so please let me know what you think in the comments below, your reaction to the signing of Mr. Kayugo Furuhashi uh, in the comments, and I like and subscribe, see you next time.